Well, what's up, America? This old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, it ain't so secret. I'm in the Cadillac Motel uh, with the weekly rates, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to talk to you about uh, some of the stuff I've been hearing the politicians talk about on uh, TV and uh, running for the President of the United States of America. Now, you know, I've been running for the President, uh, but I haven't been getting too many contributions uh, lately. Uh, actually, I haven't got any yet, but uh, I'm still hopeful that some people will contribute to my uh, campaign uh, and uh, that I could uh, go ahead and be the President and everything. I haven't told you all uh, my plans. But um, that aside, uh, this, uh, I'm hearing a lot of these politicians talk about uh, they're going to help the middle class. The middle class. And I got to thinking, what in the hell is the middle class? How much money does a middle class person make? Um, are you middle class? Am I middle class? Uh, who's, uh, uh, you know, are there other classes? Because there's, well, there's another, one other class they talk to it about, and that's the upper 1%. Well, now I know what they are. Donald Trump is an upper 1%. He done told me he made $10 million, $10 billion and more is what he says he's got. And so I'm gonna divulge to you for the whole world to know what my income is. So my income is uh, $21,000 um nine hundred and thirty seven dollars a year so am i uh in the middle class or what am i in so i started doing a little bit of study i figured i figured this thing out so we could you know get these politicians to talk about what they're talking to let us know what the heck they really are talking about because see they like to song and dance and dicks around you know kind of like car salesmen i mean i, I just can't help it uh, the politicians are just like car salesmen. So I did some research online. Now I, I got to tell you at this point, when I do my commentaries, I don't have any notes. So you hear me stuttering and stammering sometimes, and it's probably because of old age, but I guess because I don't have any notes. Well, today I got a couple of notes I want to refer to, so forgive me for doing a little bit different. But, anyways, here we go. All right, now I'm going to refer to my notes here. And, uh, the upper middle class uh, wages is above $100,000 a year. Uh, that's the upper class. Well, oh, that ain't all, see. They ain't saying upper class or this, that, and the other. They're talking about the middle class. They, they ain't telling you what they're. Now, there's more classes than the upper class. We already talked about the upper 1%. This is not the upper 1%. The uh, middle class makes above $100,000 a year. The lower middle class, which you never heard about them, did you? They make from $35,000 to $75,000 a year. But wait, there's more. Uh, there's the working class. Oh, now you're getting down to where I used to be. Okay. Working class people. I've heard of those people, haven't you? I ain't heard no politician talking about a working class. Anyways, working class, 16000 to 30000 But then you go on down. Well, there's the working poor. They ain't even got no wages listed for them. They don't even know what they're making. And then there's under class. Well, them poor folks, that must be either I'm in the working poor or, well, I ain't working, so I got to be in the uh, uh, under class people. Anyhow, I don't care about where I'm at. What I'm talking about is the gosh dang politicians quit lying and finagling around and just the dixieing around and tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Get out there and quit lying, you sons of bitches, and tell us uh, who's the middle class. You don't know. You know, you, uh, Hillary Clinton don't even have a driver's license. And you know Donald Trump ain't got no driver's license. So uh, they can't even drive a car. I bet they ain't been in a grocery store in their whole life, more than likely. Uh, or cook nothing to eat by themselves. Probably have somebody wait on a hand and foot. I don't know. They probably got somebody coming to give them a cold darn bath. I don't know. But I'm tell you one thing. They ain't in touch with where I am. They don't know how Jim Bob lives. Jim Bob lives pretty good. I ain't complaining about it. What I'm complaining about is them folks is, uh, out there, young people, and not just young people, old people. 
go anywhere you want to. Go in the Waffle House and who you see working in there. You see some young people in there, but you see a lot of old people my age too. They ought to be out enjoying themselves, but they got to work to make the ends meet. And so uh, the politicians, they ain't, ain't not a one of them up there said nothing that's going to help anybody except themselves. Anyway, that's my take on it. So Jim Bob is out. <laughs>